Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 1! Alright, um... So, what we've got to do... There's nothing back here. I always think that. I always think there's something there. Um... So now, we go over this way. And if we tried to do this before, these two old people would have been blocking the path. Like, the old guy is just infatuated with the smoke coming from the trains. So, but now that the Im the Imperial Army has gotten in the way... Alright, so we found Large Mithril. That's... That's the last of the stuff in this town. Um, we are going to give the Large Mithril to Obrite, that way everyone's got a space open in case we have to drop an item or an enemy drops an item alright we go in here because this is the cargo hold and the music's foreboding everyone nods to each other for no discernible reason And a guy comes out of the box. And we've stumbled upon some petty thieves trying to steal the cargo. Lots of petty thieves. Lots of, a couple of new units too, so we're going to show those off. But the big part of this battle is this. Inside the box is a girl. And English is not her native language, so she's not from Espinia or the, she's not from the Empire or the Republic. I actually think she's supposed to be um, from Far East Village, or at least the country that Far East Village was originally part of. Um, because she she's a monk, so she uses hand-to-hand -hand weapons. She has a very Chinese-style dress, um, and really the only Oriental nation that they talk about is is Far East Village. So, but she also has a special attack of Shoryuken. The boys over there have their hands full, so you guys go over and help out. We're gonna go ahead and finish her off because she can identify a bunch of bandits. There's more witnesses at the entrance. God, you people suck at being thieves. <laughs> like, really, you people suck. Oh, there's. No one thought to post a lookout? Don't prolong the fight. The people will... Okay. It doesn't matter how long it takes us. Alright. Lots of new bad guys. First off, let's show... Irene! HP of 14, MP of 11, attack of 14, defense of 8, Agility of 9, luck of 5, speed of 5. She has heal and a cloth glove. So yeah, she's monk class. Right now she's an NPC. We have to get to her and talk to her before they kill her. That is one of the victory conditions. There's a barrel there that I believe has an item in it. We'll try to get that as we go along. New bad guys. Goblins. They are our first uh, axe slash mace wielding opponents and they carry maces which means their attack is going to be a little bit more threatening than Obrite's because that's a higher attack weapon but I think their overall attack is lower than Obrite's. Let's... yeah their attack is well... O and Obrite's just still wearing a small axe so... Um, Skavens make a reappearance also new to this fight are birdmen equipped with steel swords 
They are, they have a speed of six, which means they can move very far, and they are unaffected by, uh, terrain. So they are actually the biggest threat in this place, because they can get anywhere on the map quickly. Um, but they also don't have land effect bonus, so they get no defense. Um, we've got Sniper, more Goblins, I believe... One, one of these guys is the boss, and he's going to run away. And then we also have another Dark Mage. So you may be asking, how do we get from point A to point B? Well, this is going to be kind of like a mini ruin map. We have to go inside a maze of the cargo boxes. You want to send everyone into this side. One thing that aggravates me is Irene hit that goblin over there, so he should be half dead, because she... Uh, she laid into him with a Shoryuken. Alright. And of course, Hayward and Grace don't make it in. And Irene gets goblin thwacked. She's going to take damage. There's no way to do this without her taking some amount of damage. So... But, if you do it right, and you put all of your people out as fast as possible, it's it's more than possible to get to her without her taking too much damage, and without putting your group in too much of harm's way. I'm hoping that because I'm level 5, I'm, I'm about at the level I'm supposed to be for this fight, because that's the thing about this game, it's a lot harder to grind early on. So... It is one of those things. Alright, we're going to attack the barrel because it is blocking our path. You get to see Don Terry's new weapon. The Halberd. That just looks intimidating. It really does. It's a scary looking weapon. And the Skaven's going to come forward and attack and now he's going to block our way, but... Don Terry's will kill him with a counter attack. Damn, Don Terry's. Ah, <laughs> oh, not what I was expecting. I was half expecting to have to kill him with Obright's new ranged weapon, but that worked out even better. This is why we don't give Don Terry's any of the attack boosting items. He doesn't need it. Alright, she's gonna get attacked again. The Birdman won't do anything to her. The, it's the Skaven and the Goblin that are, are going to go after her. The Birdman is going to wait for us. Um, he won't be triggered until we leave the map. Which is not quite yet. Oh, nope. Don Terry's can move. So we'll move him out. We'll move Symbios out as well. And... Oh, bright. That's not bad. Three, three people out. And now she walks directly over to us. But now we've attracted the attention of bad guys. But even the, the birdmen don't do crap to Symbios, so I'm not too worried about that. We already know the Skaven's not going to do crap. And that Birdman's not doing anything yet. Every time I say Birdman, I want to make a Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law reference. Alright. And now we'll move all of our people out. That one Dark Mage, he's just going to die alone and unloved in this one map. Where he's, he's useless and pointless and yeah. Alright. Now it's time to start doing... Well... I'm going to talk to Irene so that I gain control of her. 
All of you help to me come, I happy I you join. Irene the Monk joined the force. Yeah, don't don't expect her to be, you know, stunning conversation throughout this game. Alright. And now we're gonna start laying into some guys. Huh? Yes, thank you. That was just uncalled for, Sinmyos, but I love it! Uh, and I love his za. Alright, now Irene can can do stuff. And what Irene is going to do is walk over here and heal her happy little ass. Cause... Really don't want her to die. Granted, if she died at this point, it doesn't matter. She doesn't have a friendship rating with anyone. So, it would just count as a, a defeat. And you're going to attack Dontarius. You have fun with that. I would love to watch Symbios get a counterattack and one-shot them too. That would be hilarious. Alright, Obright. Um, we're going to stick with his regular axe, because I only gave him the other axe for a ranged attack option. He's going to be sticking with the regular axe throughout the game. Even though the, uh, the mace has some really cool special attacks, I'm just not bothering with it. Alright, so yeah, now that Grace is out, um... We have we no longer care about that section. All right. Um, this will probably kill him. Oh no! I was expecting it. I really was. All right. Let's see what everyone's levels are, because I actually haven't. I didn't pay attention to what level Irene is. She's level four. So yeah, we're a level ahead of where we're supposed to be. Um, and everyone's kind of close to leveling except for Irene. So... And we're gonna go after the Goblin even though it's weak. Or Dontari's weapon is weak against that one. So he's not gonna do as much damage, but... Alright, I could kill you and level the six. Could kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Because you're more of a threat than anything else. Huh? Lucky cookie, man! It's because he ate his lucky cookie! <laughs> oh, Symbios, you are a wrecking machine! Alright, um. And now we're going to get some cheap kills in with Irene. She doesn't do much damage early on. She really doesn't. So I'm going to let her get some kills in, work some things out, you know. Get used to how this whole thing works, and then we're going to build her up to be a beast. She can be a massive threat later in the game. Um... Now, one mistake you can do is think, oh, well, I can come over here and start attacking these guys and go after, uh... Oh, I can't target the Birdman? It won't let me target the Birdman yet. Okay, so yeah, not something you want to do. Um, we're going to come over here. Because the last time I did this, I lost... Uh... Lost Hayward. Um, and as you notice, we're standing next to, um, what should be an attackable space, but because there's a, such a massive height difference, they won't let us. Unless we switch to a ranged item. Throw your axe, O'Bright! 
I love how the axe comes back to him. It's like Thor's hammer. <laughs> and the dark mage that no one cares about who's going to die utterly alone. Oh, yeah. I could attack that Skaven. I'm not going to. Um, what's his HP at? No, stop it. Stop it. There you go. Yeah, we're going to let Irene kill him. And I'm going to move my people up here. Because I want to go after that barrel. So this is going to take a little while, but it'll be worth it in the end. Because I think there's something nice in the barrel. Watch there be nothing good in the barrel, and I'm just remembering it completely incorrectly. Oh. Well, sucks to be you, doesn't it? And... Yeah. Because I got nothing else to do. <laughs> uh, really, the only people that need to be healed, I think, are Symbios. Um, now watch how effective this is. Actually, we're going to do this. Just on the off chance. Twelve damage. Just because he's flying. Alright, um... I'll send Symbios up there to get the uh, the item. I might send someone in there to kill that stupid freaking Dark Mage. I think that's what Don Terry's will do. Uh, no. Screw the Dark Mage. He's not worth it. Really isn't. Uh, I can't reach it from here, damn it. I was going to say, if I could reach it with the dagger, that would make this so much better, but I can't. Alright. And Symbios is level 6, everyone else is in their level range, so... Waiting for you guys to take some sort of an action. Really wait, um, waiting to trigger them is what I'm waiting to do. Alright. You have... Yeah, I was about to say, you have... Sp I was going to say, this is going to piss me off if you don't have a free slot. Broken Barrel, 26 damage. Healing Rain, I knew there was something good in it. Ah. Definitely something we wanted. Now we get Symbios back. Okay, so that Birdman is going to run away. He is technically the leader of this fight, but we can't do anything to him yet. And now we've triggered the bad guys, so now we're in a little bit of a pickle because they're going to start ganging up on us real fast. And Irene can still... She's still going to take a decent chunk of damage because of her defense and level difference between these guys. But... It's alright. Because we've got the sniper. <laughs> Oh, I just love the concept of that attack. Just thousands of shards of ice just flying at you, cutting you to ribbons. I love it. The special attacks in this game really are kind of awesome. Alright, we're going to equip our regular axe. And hope that he does full swing. 
I know he's learned it, and he's just not using it. <laughs> oh, you rat little bastard. Well... Okay, that's sad. You did one point of damage to a healer. What is your dysfunction? Alright, and Symbi Symbios is now kind of useless. I think I'll retreat up here to the top of the crates. Yeah, he's just gonna hide and run and be a little pansy. Alright, um... Burn the goblin with fire. Twelve points of damage. Ah, oh, who does Don Terry's want to kill? Now, Terry's wants to kill the sniper. And he's leveled up friendship with someone. I didn't see who that was. Alright. Irene punched something in the face. She's not going to do much damage to this, which saddens me. Three damage. Oh, God. Maybe I should give her the attack bracer, because Symbios doesn't really need it. And why not? And she learns double palm. Fantastic. And she recovers one HP. Um... Why not? Let's... Not kill him, but hey. We'll kill him. And found a medical herb. I need to heal Hayward. I'm a little... Okay. Alright, so you did more damage to my sorcerer than to my healer. What the hell is up with that? Alright, um... Sure. I'll let Irene kill him. And we'll use... No, no, I'll let I'll have Grace heal. And we'll break a barrel. Why the hell not? Oh f fuck nuggets. Uh There's still a wizard there. Oh you son of a bitch. Not what I was expecting. Oh, thank God. Okay, now I'm I'm a little concerned. Alright. Kill him. Because now there's nothing else close by that'll get a turn before I can heal Mascarin. Yeah, you go after Don Terry's. Let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> Alright, um... Heal you so that you don't die. You can never hear what Grace says. And Grace levels up to six. Fantastic. And she recovers one HP. And we're going to attack the mage. And Hayward levels up to six. And we're going to kill the mage. And Obright levels to six.
and the other dark mage all alone. I kind of want to superimpose like the Reddit forever alone. Alright, um. Uh, I am gonna heal Hayward. Because he's got crap for defense. And I'm expecting that Birdman to come in. Alright, I want... I'm gonna have Irene heal Symbios. Not that he really needs it, but it gives her some XP. And I want Maskrin to kill the Birdman so that she levels up to 6. Because that Birdman we can't do anything against. He's... He is, in all intents and purposes, an NPC for this fight. Uh... Dontarius is still level 5, too? Move down here... And it, this really does take forever. That's added so much more time to, uh... This fight. Um... I haven't shown off Blaze level 2, so I'll go ahead and do... Well, no, I have shown off Blaze level 2. She killed two people with it in a fight. Alright, Don Terry's will get the final hit. Or not? What the hell, Don Terry's? Symbios, destroyer of barrels. That's all he's done this entire fight. And naturally I can't even get a humiliation kill in. She needs she just needs more XP, she really does. Come on. Do 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 do. All right, you're useless. You're useless. You're beyond useless. All right, just I'm not gonna take the chance of him dodging a fire spell. If I attack, he might dodge it, and I'd be screwed again. Alright, battle's over! We defeated the Gang of Bandits, the only one left is the leader. Yeah, we were gonna hide on, on the cargo until you went and screwed it up. I'll gather my friends from Dusty... We've already talked about Dusty Village. And we're just going to let him go. Why Hayward doesn't, you know, toss a couple of arrows into his wings to keep him from flying. And the cargo hold is in shambles, so we're kind of screwed. So, yeah. There's, n there's no way for us to hide on the train because now they're going to see the mess and they're going to inspect every box to see what's still here, what hasn't been stolen. So... Yeah, we're kind of screwed. So now it's time for us just to make a break for it. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. And I will see you all in the next installment when we leave Railhead. Till then, later everyone.